Hello dear students, welcome to another history lesson with Miss Joyce. In today's lesson, we are going to talk about the interrelationship of some centers of civilizations in pre-colonial Nigeria. And in today's work, we are going to talk about the similarities between the centers of civilization in pre-colonial Nigeria. We are also going to talk about the differences between these centers of civilization in pre-colonial Nigeria. And lastly, we are going to talk about the areas of interaction among the people of the centers of civilization in pre-colonial Nigeria. The various centers of civilization, like we have mentioned in our previous class, had some similarities and differences which are as follows. We we'll start off with the Ife and the Benin people. Number one we are going to discuss is the political structure and the government. Both states had a political system that was developed and they centered on a monarch who had the power and the administrative control over the people in their lands. The Benin Empire was ruled by the Oba of Benin, while the Ife Kingdom was controlled by the Oni of Ife. They also had a number of chiefs and members of the court who assisted in ruling the kingdoms. The next we'll talk about is the culture and artifacts. Some material acts and craft, that is, artifacts of their culture were similar in design, such as terracotta, ivory, sculptures, metal casting, bronze, and all that. Some of these notable acts and crafts can be found in museums across the globe. Not forgetting that some if a craftsman were sent to Benin to train the Benin craftsmen in arts and bronze casting and all that. The next we'll talk about is the ancestry. If a and Benin have shared ancestry. Number four, territorial proximity. If it's a Yoruba kingdom, while Benin is an Edo kingdom, they are located close to each other in the southern part of pre-colonial Nigeria. And the ancient Benin Empire had good road networks that connected them with other communities such as Ife for some traditional and trade activities. Number five, expansion. Both states sought to expand their territory. History records that they stretched their territories at different points in time beyond their immediate environment. Number six similarity between the Ife and the Benin people is civilization. Both states were, placed, were places of ancient civilization that lasted for centuries and for a very long period. These states or centers of civilization were politically and militarily strong and established, and they fought different wars, they conquered, and they also rose to prominence. We are going to talk about the differences between ancient Ife and Benin Kingdom. Number one we'll discuss is the religious belief. Though each of these groups had chief priests who oversaw the religion of the state, they operated different religious system and tradition. The only of Ife was the king and the priest of the land. Both states also welcomed various religious courts who had their different modes of worship, but the practice was indigenous and peculiar to individual cults and religion. Now, on the other hand, the Benin Empire was ruled by the Oba of Benin, and the empire had different traditional cults and priests who also had various beliefs and modes of worship. Number two difference is the language. They both speak different indigenous languages. The Ife people speak Yoruba, why the Benin speak the Benin language. Number three, rites and rituals. Rites and rituals performed by kingmakers during the process of kingship coronation were different and a lot of preparations were made to ensure a successful and smooth ascension to the throne. Both states had their different kingship rituals and rites. Number four, political succession. Benin Empire practice a political succession system which ensures that the throne belonged exclusively to the eldest son. 
and on the other hand the ife kingdom practices a system that selects kings from the ruling houses number five dressing and appearance the ancient benin empire adopted the tying of rappers for both male and female while in ancient ife kingdom the men wore buba and sokoto and the women wore the iro and buba both benin and ife people made use of beads and other accessories but the benin people use more beads as fashion for rares than the ife people the next we'll discuss now is the, the similarities between kanem bronu and the differences between kanem bronu and the elsa state number one similarity we'll discuss is the political structure and government they are both centralized states they both practice a centralized system of government in pre-colonial nigeria and this means that they had a leader who was in charge of the administration and the control of the land the mai and the caliph were in charge of the state number two custom and tradition as islamic territories they adopted the islamic lifestyle by following the teachings of the holy quran number three similarity is the religious belief both the kanem Borno empire and the Hausa state practice the islamic religion number four territorial proximity both communities were located in the same northern region during the pre-colonial era now let's talk about the differences between kanem Borno and the Hausa state Number one we'll talk about is their language. They speak different languages. Number two is the culture and the customs. To some extent, they have different individual cultures, such as their addressing, the language, and their occupation. Number three, ancestry. They are located, even though they are located in the same northern region, their ancestry and origin are not the same number four the occupation the occupation of the people of the Alsa state was majorly farming why that of kanem Bornu combined farming with trade in goods such as textiles salts slaves and so on the next we'll discuss is the igbo and the niger delta city state talking about the similarities between the Igbo and the Niger Delta city state, the first we will discuss is the political structure. Both societies elected old wise men that were choosing from various families, clans, and compounds to make and execute laws for the community. Power and authority are uh, invested in their council of elders. The council of elders ensure the smooth running of the community with the ordinary citizens giving equal opportunity to contribute the council of elders also represents the will of the people and are often assisted by the age group or the age grade group the title holders as well as the men and women of their groups number two custom and culture some igbo and niger delta city states shared similar culture and custom for example polygamy they also celebrated similar ceremonies and festivals such as the celebration of the new moon new year planting and harvest season they also celebrate the new year festival now some also had similar marriage and burial rites number three religious beliefs some Igbo and Niger Delta city states share the same religious beliefs, such as the existence of many gods, the respect and worship of the ancestors, the cycle of death and rebirth, they believe in supernatural being, and so on. Number four, the occupation. Most Igbo and Niger Delta city states practice hunting, farming, and fishing. Why many were farmers and hunters, some others were fishers and traders. Number five, language. The, the people spoke in similar language. The Igbo was the shared language of administration and business. 
other neighboring communities spoke similar dialects of the language and there were some level of understanding between speakers of the various Igbo dialects that is those from the south south region of nigeria and those from the southeastern part of nigeria another similarity between the Igbo and the niger delta city state is the trade expertise it is a common knowledge that some Igbo and Niger Delta city states were experts in the areas of business and trade with other communities. They also had merchants who did business with the local people, the neighboring community, and also the Europeans. The next we'll talk about now is the differences between the Igbo and the Niger Delta city state. The first we'll talk now is the trade. They produce different articles of trade some communities were known to have specialized in some particular goods for example the coastal region were popular for their sea food number two which is a six, six which is a second difference between the Igbo and the niger delta city state is custom they have different custom and they had differences in some of their religious and marital custom Marriage requirements varied in the different communities. The marital requirements depended on the kind of community and the kind of family a person belonged to. Next up, let's talk about the areas of interaction among the peoples of centers of civilization in pre-colonial Nigeria. As mentioned earlier, there were critical areas that prompted relationship between the centers of civilization in pre-colonial Nigeria. And these include trade, which is the first we are going to talk about trade. The people of Kanem Bornu and the Alsa state they traded with one another items including salt, food, crops, textiles, and so on. The Igbo and the people of the Niger Delta city state traded with one another items such as seafood, farm produce, and so on. And the Benin and the Ife people also traded with each other. Number two is the culture. The Ife and the Benin people related with each other and they exchanged ideas with regard to art and crafts. While the people of the Kanem Bornu and the Alsa state shared the same Islamic culture and customs, and the Igbos and the people of the Niger Delta city state shared some traditional cults and societal cultures and customs, for example, the celebration of the New Yam festival. Number three, religion. The Kanem Bornu and the Alsa, cities, Alsa state related with each other on issues pertaining to Islam, and the Igbo and the Niger Delta city state related with each other through the oracle of the Arushuku, the Ekwe society, and so on. Number four, war. The Kanem Bornu and the Alsa state related with one another through wars which happened many times. Number five, festivals. Many of the communities that shared the boundaries celebrated common festivals together. Many Islamic festivals were celebrated by the people of Kanem Bornu and Alsa state. Then the, and the Igbo and the Niger Delta city state also celebrated common festivals for example the coronation of kings then number six is marriage intermarriage were common among neighboring cities and kingdoms in pre-colonial nigeria and polygamy was also was also a common marriage practice across the three centers of civilization which are the ife and the benin kingdom the Kanem Bornu and the Alsa states, and the Igbo and the Niger Delta city states. With this, we have come to the end of our class for today. Until we meet again in the next class, goodbye and stay safe.